OK, we have a lot of ground to cover and we'll start with Senator Marco Rubio. Senator Rubio, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for having me. In August, you agreed to support whoever gets the Republican nomination. Do you still stand by that pledge, given the growing possibility, at least, that Trump could win this and you say that he's a con man? Yeah, well, he's not going to win the nomination. It would be a catastrophe for the Republican Party. And uh, that's why I continue to fight so hard. We're going to win here in Florida. We're going to continue to fight across the country because if Donald Trump's our nominee, we're going to lose. We're going to lose badly. And we're going to lose the conservative movement. I mean, this is a guy who supports Planned Parenthood. This is a guy who says he won't take sides when it comes to Israel. So your question is, I'm going to support the Republican nominee because it's not going to be Donald Trump. It's going to be me. Now, it's going to be a hard fight. Florida is going to be key. I think if we win Florida, it will be very difficult to stop ourselves, but we have to win here. We're going to work really hard to do it. And you said that you got into the trash talk with Trump to give him a dose of his own medicine, but when you make fun of his hands or the color of his skin, regardless of what he said, does that not just lower the bar even more? <laughs> yeah, and it's unfortunate that that's what politics has become about. You look at Donald Trump has gotten 10 times as much coverage as any candidate, all the other candidates combined because he spent a year insulting people. That's not gonna be the core of our campaign. You're not gonna hear me saying that all the time. But when you're a, a bully like Donald Trump, every now and then someone has to give you a taste of your own medicine. This guy has mocked everyone from the disabled to women to minorities. Uh, is this what we really want to be identified as the Republican Party? This is a guy that for three days refused to condemn the Ku Klux Klan or David Duke. I mean, there's no place for that in the Republican Party, the party of Lincoln and Reagan. How can he be our nominee? He won't be. And so. You know, we'll do what needs to be done here. We're, not, we're going to continue to focus on our positive message. People could learn about it on our website, MarcoRubio.com. Uh, but we're not going to stick around and watch Donald Trump continue to, you know, poke people in the face and have no one respond to him. And to that end, in your speech, you said you started to take down Trump just a few days ago. Why would you wait until just a few days ago when at this point it could be too late for any Republican yeah. to bring him down? Well, look, it's it, yeah, it's not too late. I mean, Donald, I mean, the question is, how does Donald Trump get the delegates he needs to win the nomination? Because the resistance to him is extraordinary. Sixty five percent of the people who voted yesterday voted against Donald Trump um, in every state. He underperformed public polling in Virginia. He was meeting me by 20 points. He ended up basically winning by less than three points. I think if we'd had one more week, we would have overtaken him there. Um, obviously, we feel very strongly about how we're going to do here in Florida. Last night was supposed to be Ted Cruz's big night. It was Super Tuesday, the conservative southern states. We beat him in over half the states, beat him in Georgia, for example, and uh, came away with a lot of delegates. So, look, Florida's going to be big. Florida's always big. It's big again. It's 99 delegates. It's the biggest chunk of delegates that's going to be awarded by any single state up until this point. We need everyone's help. If you want to stop Donald Trump, I'm the only one that can do that in Florida and across the country. But to your key challenge, you said that if you did not have to share the ballot with two or three other people, you would have won Virginia, maybe elsewhere. But can't the same be said for the two yeah. or three other people? Yeah, I mean, no, I mean, the answer is it doesn't, because if you look at no, you look at the other people that we're talking about, they're asterisks, you know, they're small percentages, but just enough to make a difference. You know, and, and, uh, and uh, but look, I can't control that. I'm not asking anyone to do anything. We're just going to have to do better, and we will. Florida's critical. People watching this right now, they have to understand that the future of the conservative movement and the Republican Party is going to be in their hands here in Florida. Uh, if we win, we're going to have a real chance, not just to win the nomination, but to keep it from falling into the hands of a con artist like Donald Trump, who is not a conservative and has never voted in a Republican primary in his entire life. So are you then in this race until somebody mathematically clinches it no matter what? Yeah, that, and, and I, we want it to be us, obviously. You know, we want to get to 1,237 delegates. I do not believe Donald Trump will ever get 1,237 delegates. If you extrapolate what's happened now across the states that are remaining, it won't happen. Last night was going to be our toughest night because given how much time and money, for example, Ted Cruz spent in these states, and he only won his own state and a neighboring state. And on the other hand, we got our first win last night. We beat him in half the states that were on the ballot. And we feel like the map now, the states that are now coming up, those are much better for us than, than some of the other states that have voted so far. You know, so we, we feel good. It's going to be a tough ride. This, look, I'm an underdog. There's no doubt about it. But I've been an underdog my entire career and my entire life. It's, it's a role that I relish. And quite frankly, it's a, it's, it's a role that I think is important in this election because the front runner is someone who will get crushed by Hillary Clinton. And we cannot allow Hillary Clinton to be the next president of the United States. Have you personally asked Jeb Bush for his endorsement? And if so, what did he say? 
Well, look, I don't discuss private conversations. Uh, obviously, you know, Jeb is someone I admire tremendously, and, and uh, despite the fact that we both wound up running for the same office at the same time, that has not changed my opinion or my affection or my admiration or respect for him. I said that throughout the campaign, and I say it after. And, uh, you know, he's an incredibly popular figure in Florida, so, uh, and, and people admire him greatly here as well, uh, as you can imagine. So. He would be a big factor, and, but, and I think everyone would love to have his endorsement, but I won't discuss private conversations. Suffice it to say that uh, we're going to do well here in Florida, but I need everyone's help. If you want to stop Donald Trump, I am the only one that can win Florida and stop him. Senator Rubio, thank you for your time. Thank you.